Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My group and I will be presenting on our animal feeder and water dispenser project in the agricultural industry. So these are my group members. The first member is Shana Zabrina. She is responsible in building and coding of animal feeder system, video editing and report writing. Next is Alia Suraya. She is responsible for building and coding of animal feeder system and report writing. The third member is Wan Nur Aida. She is responsible for cloud computing and user interface and also report writing. And the last member, which is me, myself, Rania, I am responsible in building and coding of water dispenser system and also report writing. For introduction, animals are now regarded as an essential part of the agricultural industry. Farm animals has increased due to an increase of demand. Innovative devices like automatic animal feeders and water dispensers are made to simplify and improve the lives of farmers and pet owners. Our IoT-based system of automatic animal feeder feeds animals automatically and consistently using infrared and ultrasonic sensors. The system consists of two sensors, an infrared sensor for animal presence detection and an ultrasonic sensor for feeding tree food level measurement. Other than that, to control water flow and stop waste, our system uses a water level sensor. This is not only conserves water and lowers expenses, but also makes sure that every animal has uh, access to enough water at all times. So the objective of this project is to design a system that can reduce human labor and save farmers energy and time. Second is to develop a system that can feed food and water to animals in adequate amounts. And lastly is to design a system that can help farmers monitor food amount available for monitors remotely. For the project significance, innovative devices like automatic animal feeders and water dispensers are made to simplify and improve the lives of farmers and pet owners. Even while they are gone, farmers and animal owners may check the food supply thanks to the automatic feeder system. Similar to this, the automatic water dispenser aids farmers in controlling the water flow to their livestock, lowering the possibility of overwatering and assuring equitable dis distribution of water. These solutions not only make life easier, but they also benefit animal health and welfare. So now, I will be explaining the coding to the animal feeder system. First, we have to define Blink Print and Blink Template ID which can be retrieved from Blink website. Then, we will include the libraries needed by the components in this system such as the ESP board, ultrasonic sensor and servo motor. Next, we will define the variables such as for ultrasonic sensor and infrared sensor to the pins they are connected to on the controller board as well as for Blink authorization. Since Blink is a cloud database, it requires internet connection so we will initialize a connection using an available network. After that, we will define a method for setup that will run once when the system starts. Blink will be connected to the system at this part. Finally, we have to define method for the automated system in the loop method. Blink will run along with the system. Distance is set to the reading of ultrasonic sensor, sensor IR is set to the reading of infrared sensor, and percent is the amount of food detected in food container. We will print these readings in serial monitor for observation, and we will also send the percentage of food left in container to Blink. Lastly, if function is used for the infrared sensor and we will move the servo motor accordingly. For the cloud computing, for the animal feeder system, we use Blink Cloud. As you can see in the device info page, we have the template ID, we have the template name and the authentication token. All of these details will be included in the coding system for the animal feeder as well as the Wi-Fi name and password used to run the system. From the video, we can see the servo motor is moving and dispense food from the container as the IR sensor detects the low amount of food in the bowl. And when the, there is a presence of a hand, which we can assume as the animal presence, the IR sensor detects the presence and the servo motor stops moving. For the Blink app, we can see the percentage of food left in the container. When the amount of food is low, the app will notify the user that the amount of food in the container is low and it needed to be refilled. So this one is the coding for the automated water dispenser. So as you can see, this is a relay and sensor value. And then the setup function runs once you press reset or power the board. So next is when the power is turned on, the water pump will start to pump the water and therefore the water will then flow to another container. So once the water level sensor detects a certain amount of water, it will then stop pumping. Hi and Assalamualaikum. In this demo, we are showing the automatic water dispenser. As you can see, there are two containers. The one on the left is where the water will flow and then the one on the right is where the water is pumped out. So in this uh, area, you can see the tube going into the pumped out water. The water is currently pumping out and there you can see there is a water level sensor there. So the water will stop flowing once it reaches a certain point at the water sensor. So that is all for our group presentation. Thank you for your attention.